I'm going to spare showing you just how much fur that I've dumped but just know that I have two dogs and two cats and it is shedding season so I just did like a quick 25 minute workout. I used to do more of a gym workout split, like leg day, back day, whatever. But now that I'm trying to get back to the gym and not fall off the wagon again, I am just doing a full body workout every single time. When I was at the gym, I was thinking about something really interesting. So much of growing up and adulting is learning what health means to yourself like no one really teaches you how to properly care for yourself like you know you're supposed to eat you know you're supposed to sleep but what do you eat and what like how much do you need as a person in terms of sleep those things you kind of have to like just figure it out for yourself for me like so much of my college years are spent trial and erroring my way and finding what's best for me like when i went to college i remember i gained 15 pounds the first year like it is kind of true what they say about freshman 15 because I got out of high school and all of a sudden no one was telling me what to eat, no one was telling me when to sleep. I found so much freedom, but as a consequence, I was out partying every other night, like drinking a little bit too much, going to sleep at random hours, and I put on weight. I was constantly really, really tired. I was drinking seven cups of coffee a day. Like honestly, thinking back, I don't know how I survived that and didn't get a heart attack. But as I've grown older, I am almost 27 now and over time i start to learn how to properly care for myself going to the gym doing strength training being active just on a daily basis another really interesting thing is some of my friends who used to play organized sports in high school and college all of a sudden find themselves in a situation where they no longer are a part of a sports group or any kind of like sports community they get to get together at a certain time and play sports and being active at a very regular interval now my friends kind of have to figure out for themselves what they want to do with their free time like obviously as an adult you have way more freedom and choices and you can sign yourself up for all these different things but that requires your own initiative and thinking of the fact that hey maybe i should sign up for a sports group so that i can keep myself accountable to being active on a daily basis but yeah that's some of my thoughts in relation to exercise and in terms of eating i think this is something that's quite interesting and it's a very sensitive topic for a lot of people and especially recently i have seen a lot of content on tiktok especially that i think are just not very healthy for younger groups and just for people in general i myself have had a history of disordered eating and eating disorder as well and now that i am fully in remission and recovered for a couple of years now seeing this type of content and kind of imagining what it could do for younger audiences or people who are struggling with body image it's really very toxic and i think that healthy eating and just like a healthy lifestyle kind of means a little bit different to everyone and in terms of what you feel good in eating requires your work and maybe your dietitian all of that is not for random people on the internet to give you tips about you know how to stay thin or how to look a certain way aesthetically and 
one of the things that really helped me in my journey to recovery is figuring out that i am working out and i am eating to strengthen my body to create a useful body instead of focusing on the aesthetics of how i look it's definitely easier said than done a lot of it is also about embracing myself and who i am as a person and focusing more on my internal qualities like my personality and the way i choose to live life rather than kind of external features like obviously there's a part of me that does work out for vanity reasons but i think that that is something that i try to not focus so much on because i can very quickly find myself spiraling into a direction that i just don't want to revisit again i'm not going to go into much depth in this vlog but i just wanted to quickly touch up on that because i just think that in popular cultures there can be a lot of associations and i wanted to clear up what i meant by keeping myself healthy and happy. Mm -hmm.